guys my name is Salman uh, and I hope you are all fine and good so in this video I am discussing about the how to optimize the uh, for loop how to optimize the performance of for loop since uh, we have a performance issue when we uh, our iteration is maximum to 1 lakh 2 lakh or something else just take a time to let's say 15 minutes spend time how to use this how to optimize this for loop so before starting like this you must know about the concept of multi-threading what is multi-threading and what is single threaded what is multi-threaded application and what is single threaded application single threaded application is a application that is uh, every task each task run uh, only one task run at the same time what does mean it means to at the same time only one task run it only one task run at the same time no no second task run in parallel uh, one by one one by one so for loop does this in a sequential manner that uh, every iteration from start in sequence manner from one two three four five let's say we have a uh, twelve iterations and each iteration takes five seconds to perform a task so total time for completing this for loop it take one minute each task has com need to complete each iteration need to complete five seconds and we have a 12 iteration so 12 iteration completed in one minute so this is a why one minute because this is iteration in a sequence manner one by one it's one step then two step then three four five six let's so on and one iteration two iteration three iteration of one iteration completed then second iteration will start though this is a single thread single uh, iteration sequential manner loop that is one run from top uh, start to end in one time so what is multi-threading multi-threading is the application that is run multiple tasks at the same time so we have a multiple task uh, at the same time running in single threaded application only one task run at the uh, time in multi threaded we have a multiple task run at the same time so this is called multi threading so in multi threading if we have a 12 iteration and uh, each iteration takes 5 seconds to complete so in multi threading we have uh, we total time spent by the uh, uh, iteration in 5 seconds in 5 seconds all the uh, iteration will be completed 12 iteration will be completed take 5 second time in multi threading so this is optimize the performance of our for loop in single thread uh, traditional way we are using for loop to uh, a 1 minute to uh, complete the iteration 12 iteration and in multi threaded we um, see we will see that the only five to six seven second takes to complete the 12 iteration so I will start this ex uh, from the an example first we will create use stopwatch stopwatch to determine the what time how much time is take to execute dot stopwatch create instance of this so sw dot start this will start the stopwatch and we will create a simple for loop tradition traditional one we want to iterate it in 12 we have a 12 iteration and we have a 12 iteration we have a 12 uh, for loop iteration and each iteration takes that is 5 second so each iteration takes 5 second then it will take approximately 1 minute to complete this for loop so why this takes to, uh, because only one um, iteration execute at the one time no more than one iteration execute at the one time in for loop traditional for loop this is single also single threaded so 
if uh, uh, first iteration uh, first iteration will start then you take 5 second then second iteration will start it will 5 second then third iteration will start it will 5 second so 15 second will take in th uh, third uh, iteration so after that i will get the time in second uh, stopwatch does stop sorry stop it will stop this dot elapse time limit. this will get uh, this will return the times in millisecond and I want to convert in second so one second have thousand of millisecond so if we divide by thousand we get the total time in second so this will return the time in second now we will put the breakpoint here I will start the application you will see that how much time it takes this is the best way to optimize our for loop This will complete the execution and we will see the time that time is 60 seconds. It means this for loop takes 1 minute to complete this task. So we will optimize this. We will use parallel parallel library for loop for. So in for we will start this if we will start from 1 and to 12 we want to start iteration from 1 to 12 and we will get the current indexing point that is we copy this that paste this we will reset our stopwatch then start after that as we do stop we'll stop that and long time 2 as w door elapsed time in second divided by 1000 so now let's see what this happened how much is take time to complete this second so mm, i used parallel dot 4 why I use this because parallel dot for execute each iteration in parallel it will not wait for first iteration to complete then start second iteration it will fire first application uh, iteration then immediately it will fire fire second iteration and so on it will fire all the 12 iteration at the same time it will not wait any previous iteration to uh, complete next iteration it will execute their point and not wait any first iteration or previous iteration to complete this so one minute I think takes completely so we will use that is this will complete now we see that this take 60 second this will take 60 second and this will take 7 second so why this 7 second because at the same time parallel dot 4 fire 12 iteration so in first second 
टू थ्री सेकेंड थर्ड फोर फाइव फाइव सेकेंड आल ट्वेल्व एट्रेशन विल कम्प्लीटेड इट विल टेक सेवन सेकेंड एंड इट विल टेक सिक्सटी सेकेंड सो वाई दिस वी यूज थ्रेड दो स्लीप बिकॉज ईच एट्रेशन टेक्स फाइव सेकेंड वेन दिस एग्जीक्यूट द आवर प्रोग्राम वेट फॉर फाइव सेकेंड दिस इज दिस विल होल्ड द करंट प्रोग्राम करंट पॉइंट टू होल्ड फॉर फाइव सेकेंड स्टे हेयर सो ईच एट्रेशन टेक्स वन फाइव सेकेंड टू गो टू नेक्स्ट टेक आई थिंक यू आई इमेजिन दैट यू हैव अ कंसेप्ट ऑफ थ्रेड डोट स्लीप वट इज थ्रेड डोट स्लीप इट विल यूज करंट थ्रेड टू स्लीप और होल्ड करंट थ्रेड टू फॉर फाइव सेकेंड वट सेकेंड वी आर गिवन फाइव थाउजेंड इट मीन फाइव सेकेंड सो दिस इज द वे डेट आई यू विल ऑप्टिमाइज योर पैरल डॉट फॉर लूप optimize your for loop since why we will uh, when we will use parallel dot for we only will use parallel dot for loop when each iteration have independent when each iteration have the independent of another application then we will use parallel dot for and if each iteration is not dependent on another each iteration will not independent on another and is it is dependent on previous or next iteration then we will not use this because this will issue uh, memory because it will have an issue will threading so we will use in this for loop this parallel dot for loop is used only when each iteration have independent of other iteration because this line of code is independent of other line of iteration of line of code so understand parallel dot for loop is used only when each iteration in loop have an independent of another application and not using any of variable of another application so this is the way to optimize our for loop so thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon button to get more the latest video thanks